Hey guys! So, I was on my Facebook yesterday and I was asking you, all of you, um, your suggestions on what you want to learn. And there was a lot of stuff thrown around and it's great because we can make those videos and we, I will make them for you. But today we're going to talk about lips. So instead of just talking about regular lipstick, which someone did mention, I want to show you the secret art of lip liner. So let's get into it. So I like to use lip liner as my lipstick 9 times out of 10 and there are good reasons why. One, um, you can kind of manipulate the shape of your lips. Two, I enjoy the kind of more matte lips. If you're not used to kind of wearing lipstick, um, having a bright color that's shiny can be a little off-putting for you. Um, just because you're not used to it. Um, and three, I like to ombre stuff. I like to ombre my lips and this is the perfect tool to do it with. So instead of, you know, just showing you just how to put on a lipstick, my channel is where you're going to learn cool stuff and nothing is ever going to be just black and white. This might as well be the gray channel because everything is going to be thinking kind of out of the box, um, but still not being crazy. So I did mention this color yesterday on Facebook. It's super trending right now. It's all over Instagram. Um, it is Night Moth from MAC. If you don't believe me, go look it up. I promise you a picture will pop up with it. So I am going to teach you how to apply your lip liner in an ombre effect and have it last pretty much all day. So let's jump right on into this. So I'm going to be looking in here and kind of looking at you, but let's give it a go. It should work. It should be easy. So what you want to do is, of course, you don't have to use Night Moth. Um, I have a whole array of lip liners, and they're usually more pinks and mauves and um, more kind of nudish colors. That's kind of my, like, thing. I usually don't go really dark like this. Um, so you can use any color. You have no means have to use Night Moth. I'm just showing you Night Moth because we might as well try this out before the trend's over and it's played out. So let's give it a go. You can grab any different color that you want. Same, same technique no matter what color you're using. So pick whatever color that you're comfortable with and just follow these directions. So you are going to start by just lining your lips kind of with a thicker line. Alright, this is the opportunity to kind of reshape your lip a little bit. Again, uh, you don't want to go too far with it. If you can tell that you did it, you went a little too far and you need to take a couple steps back because you don't want to look like you, you don't want to look like you faked it. So we're going to start with our top lip now. I always like to start from the corner and go up. It's just my thing. Uh, do whatever you're comfortable with. Okay, so when it comes to the bow of my lips, this little doo doo cupid's bow, um, I have like really more triangled ones. I find that if you round them off, you get more of a voluptuous full lip. So you can see, I'll show you closer, that I kind of did more of a round off. So we're going to do that same thing on the other side. And just match it up. So you just go in and get your little fine lines. Don't worry about what the inside looks like. You're going to be smudging it out anyway. So just fine tune everything. I like the shape that I have right now. So the next part that you're going to do that is going to add a lot of definition and dimension to your lip is you're going to fill in the corners of your lips. So just go ahead and fill those puppies in. And then just kinda feather it out. Don't make like a harsh cut line. Again, it doesn't matter. You could always fix it. Mm -mm -mm. But you 
want to bring them out kind of symmetrically, not completely symmetric. It doesn't have to be symmetrical completely. Like I said, we're going to be blending. So do the same thing to the top corners. All right. So we're done. I mean, literally, that was that simple. Um, so now we have this crazy thick line. We kind of look like, I don't know, just really weird. So what you're going to do is you're going to take a brush like so, something that will, you know, be able to smudge. This is actually Sephora brush. Um, it is a pro smoky liner, so it's the blend eyeliner. We're going to blend lip liner instead. So just take all of those thick lines and just push them towards the center. So, I mean, easy. Like, really easy. Looks like it took a long time. But it didn't. So just keep blending that around. You can blend out the bottom lines. You can blend out your uh, the lines around the perimeter if you don't want those really you know harsh lines. I enjoy them but go to the top just take the color from here and pull it down. And you're just gonna get like a light kind of shade. You, you know the same shade but just lighter in the center. Okay, rubbing them is going to be pretty much not in the question because it, you know, lip liner is really stiff, but that's what keeps it on. This won't feather at all because you're using the tool to stop feathering in the first place, so it's a win-win. So if you do like that line and you did kind of blend it out, go ahead and add it right back in there. So we're done. I mean, that's it. So you can leave it just like this. You rub it. It's only going to come off just a little bit. I, like I said, it does last all day. I will show you if you do like that glossy look. We're going to get um, Urban Decay's Naked Lip Glosses, which are new. This is Liar. It's my fave. Now this is going to give you a more ombre effect because this is a lighter pink. So what you're going to do, just take this and throw it all in there, in the middle, mostly in the middle. I mean, you can cover the whole thing. It's still gonna, it's not gonna change anything. So, now we have shiny lips if you prefer that. Still gonna stay a lot longer than lipstick would, definitely longer than lip gloss. That is an up close view of it. And you are all done, guys. So, that was just a little vaguely beautiful quick tip and trick. And remember, you can use any color that you want. So, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Always remember to subscribe. Leave any comments or questions, concerns down in the beauty box, uh, aka the comment box. And I will see all of you next time. Thank you for watching.